Well, a sushi master has taken an unlikely path to the top of the culinary world. All right, Carrie Drew shows us how Chef Seki found his calling in tonight's edition of The Dish. My name is Seki. I do in sushi. Chef Seki of Sushi Seki is known around the world as a sushi master. When I make sushi, I don't really think. I try to feel, feel my customer, feel the customer's feeling. Watching Seki is captivating, like watching an artist create a masterpiece. Born in China, Seki went to Japan as a teenager, where he tasted sushi for the first time. So when I uh, decided to go to Japan, I was 17. I was so afraid of seeing tuna, touching tuna, so I decided to uh, try cucumber roll and eel roll. I was so fascinated. I decided to work at the uh, Tokyo Tsukiji Fish Market to learn how to open the fish, how to handle other fish. After working at the Tokyo Fish Market, Seki fell in love with sushi and decided to become a chef. My inspiration is just like a playing music. I play crescendo, I play sometimes softer, sometimes hotter, just like playing with the uh, temperature, hot and cold, different textures. So the, uh, within one song, I would like to make sure to play all the different scores. <laughs> His newest location is Sushi Seki Bar and Oysters in Hell's Kitchen, where he showed us some of his creations. Like this childhood favorite, a fried rice dish with scallop, avocado, and truffle, and his whimsical addition of a crab made out of a carrot. When I was a kid, my aunt used to cook the uh, rice. Always at the bottom of the uh, rice cooker, there was the uh, leftover, overcooked, crispy rice. I wanted to bring that memory again. And this unique take on breakfast. My inspiration came from a Sunday breakfast. Locks on a bagel. Seki is also famous for his omakase, where he puts an inventive spin on fresh fish. So, chef, chopsticks or fingers? Finger. Because I'm making fingers, you eating finger too. Okay. Some of his favorites are toro with wasabi and sea salt, and kampachi with jalapeno sauce. That is the best piece of sushi I've ever had. They Delicious. My favorite. My uh, simple but ultimate goal for pursuing sushi making is simply to see every single smile from my guest by me serving every single piece of sushi. Studying sushi is about how I can continue making those magic happening. That's my simple goal. A simple goal Chef Seki has achieved. For The Dish, I'm Carrie Drew.